top five. Pretty fun top five. I like this top five a lot. I'll start with my number five. I got a... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me... All right. You got to set it up? Let me set it up, Cornell. Jesus. Okay. Oh, sorry, I was watching a yeah, baseball yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Over there scrolling uh, through his Tinder matches. Uh, no, I'm watching the Braves beat up on the Cubbies. Um, it was just one-to-one. What's the score now? Two-one. <laughs> beat up on the Cubbies. Uh, probably top third, too. Uh, uh, bottom four. <laughs> How did I know? Um... Uh, <laughs> So this week's top five uh, is our top five favorite college football teams, excluding Oregon, because obviously Oregon's one. One through 500. Yeah. So what team, you know, if you're going to sit down and watch a, a football game on a, you know, when the Ducks have a bye game, who you, who are you going to first, basically? Yeah. Um, well, that, that I do match up, but yeah. if I took this more, if you could not be a Duck fan, who would you root for? Yeah. I, I mean, I just did it. Right. In general, where I, when Oregon doesn't play this team, I'm going to root for them. Oh, okay. And so, so yeah. So, what's your number five? Tennessee. Okay. Yep. I just I have I, a couple friends. Yeah, you got some friends. Got some okay. friends that are volunteer Sh- fans. Shout out BVD. Shout out BVD. Shout out Carter. Um, but yeah, Tennessee, good program overall. One of the top programs, you know, to ever play. Uh, most wins, I believe, in school history. Uh, right, right ahead of Michigan. Uh, so really good program. Down south, I always like the SEC schools, most of them anyway. But uh, if I had to pick one, there was actually another one on my list somewhere down the line. Uh, but Tennessee is my number five. Okay, not bad. I don't, I don't necessarily like Tennessee, but I don't hate Tennessee. Right. So is what it is. <sighs> so my number five, Alabama. They made my honorable mention, but Roll I, I couldn't put them in a top five. Yeah, I got a, I got some buddies. Ah, ooh, um, that's a sexy sound. Fuck yeah, nice, nice frame IPA. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I like, I like Alabama. Uh, a lot of people hate them. Nick Saban uh, is what it is. I don't hate them. I just don't dude, root for them. Yeah, dude, dude wins. Yeah. And if you could tell, if you could tell any, that's what's so messed up about any fan that hates Alabama. If you could tell them, hey. Nick Saban's going to coach your program for the next 10 years. Oh, you'll take it over. Oh, game, game over. And, I don't care who you have coaching your team. And, game over. And this may be a hot take. Mm-hmm. I think he might be one of the cleanest coaches in college football. Yeah, if, if Saban was dirty, we would have found it out by now. Yeah. I mean, because I'm not saying he has never done anything dirty. I think to get to this point, right? He he did dirty things, right? And, and that may come out years down the road. Hey, back in you know his first two years at Alabama, um, you know he's paying players left and right. Um, but I, I I I think he's clean at this point. Yeah. Because at this point, it's hey, if you come and play for three years, you're gonna win two championships. Yeah, you're gonna win. Yeah, minimum of one. You're probably gonna play in three. So I mean, why wouldn't you go there? Right. So, <laughs> um, I just, yeah, I, 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 I agree with you. People think he's dirty. I, was, I, I, I don't. I think he may be one of the cleanest coaches in college football. When all the eyes are on you, that is the hardest time to be clean. Mm-hmm. Or hardest time to be dirty, I should say. Mm-hmm. Uh, every eye in college football is on Alabama. What are they doing? How are they winning? How are they winning? How, 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 how? Yeah. And, I mean, they haven't found anything. It's like kind of goes to like our president situation right now. Nobody likes him. All the eyes are on him. But people have been able to come out with stuff, and it keeps getting shot down. And Saban, not, not even allegations that have been investigated. So you know he's, so far, running a clean program, as of right now, anyway. Yeah. And you're right. It could come out a couple years down the line where the first five years at Alabama, paying players. But until that happens, eh. Yeah. Dude wins. Yeah. All what, right. about, uh, what about your number four? Texas Tech. Okay, the, the Red Raiders. Red, Red Raiders. Red Raiders, yeah. Um, I just like the offense that they run there. I like their uniforms. I like anything, like, their, their mascots with the guns. I just like it. I just like the whole Texas Sea feel. The, the black uniforms are just badass. I, and I, fast I can't, offense. I can't, I, can't, I can't picture their uniforms. It's the, the one that's sticking out to me is when Blackman was there, uh-huh. and they had the black helmets with the Texas outline with the uh, red Texas Tech yeah. logo in the middle. Huh. That's the one that's sticking. That's how I remember it anyway. Interesting. Um, but no, their offense, 
their uniforms, the the mascot. Just I like I like their fans too. Uh, the fans seem really you know passionate. So Texas Tech is a is an underdog to number four for me. Okay. My number four. Mm. This one's random. Yeah. The Hogs. Razorbacks. Yes. Wow. Why? Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. Yes. Um, to be honest, I I um, bought a a sleeve of golf balls <laughs> on eBay. Mm-hmm. Uh, some nice. Um, Titleist? No, no, <laughs> fuck Titleist. Uh, some nice tailor-made uh, TP5Xs. Okay. Um, and the dude didn't, in his description of the golf balls, he just said they're plain, tailor-made TP5Xs. I was like, sweet. I bought a sleeve, gave him, you know, three balls. Um, and I opened them up when they got there, and there was Hogs logos on them. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, I responded, like, hey, bro, you should probably put that there's, some people don't like logos on their balls. I, I don't care. Um and so I'm like, fuck, so I text my buddy Devin, and I was like, well, I guess I'm a fucking Hogs fan when we go golfing. And he's like, hell yeah. So no, I just, I'd so ever since then, so that was what, two football seasons ago? Yeah. Uh, so I just started watching them ever since, and I mean, a few games here and there. Right. Uh, and, I mean, well, I got Bielema now. Yeah. To yeah. Coach. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I mean, yeah, go Hogs. I'm going to get a, I think I'm going to get a, a Nike Hogs polo to, to wear. Um, Match your balls. Yeah, when I go golfing, just to throw people off because my bag and stuff's ducks. <laughs> but I'll be, yeah, and I'll be wearing a hogs polo. So that's really it. It's just, yeah, I, I got three golf balls. Hey, with, there you go. With the hogs logo on it. Well, uh, what's your uh, number three? Virginia Tech. Nice. Bob yeah. Tech. I, I, something about Sandman, man. You just watch mm-hmm. that, and you cannot enter Sandman. You cannot get. You cannot not get hyped. Oh, it's, that. that's that's the best entrance in golf. Oh, man, my number two might rival that. My number two might rival well, we'll that. We'll see, but yeah, Andrew Sandman, it's classic. It's so good. It's and it's so hyped and just something about their program I like. Yeah. It just it's one of those programs that you know is good. It's clean. It's in the ACC, so they don't get a lot of plug. Yeah. And you know they do things the right way. Good old, good old Beamer ball when he, was, when he was coaching. Yeah, fantastic. Virginia Tech number yeah. three. And that's my number three. Nice. How can we always have like one? At least one. Yeah, we're, 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 we're the same. But yeah, Vatek, I mine, mine goes back to the uh, Michael Vick days. Mm. Um, Michael Vick was my favorite NFL player, um, as you could tell. For your Eagles. Yeah. Uh, well, even before that, for the Falcons. Okay. Um, I, I've always liked Michael Vick, as you could tell um, with when your stupid dog gets in my way. Uh, <laughs> you know, I channel my inner Michael Vick. Um, but yeah, no, just Vatek. It's just one of those programs where, how can you hate them? Right. Like, like I'm There's, sure, I'm sure even I don't even know who their rival is. Virginia. Like, Virginia. Like, yeah. how can you hate Von Tech? Which I don't like. The, I wouldn't like Virginia solely for their name, Cavaliers. I don't. I, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. But Virginia Tech, the Hokies. Yeah, the Hokies, fucking Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Von Tech is just yeah. I just they always they always seem to have like. Nice clean uniforms. Yeah. Um, Beamer ball with his with his special teams and shit like that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he was a hell of a coach. Yep. So so yeah. What's your uh, number two? Another bird, the Gamecocks. Ah, the cocks. South Carolina. Ah, the cocks. They're on my honor- honorable mention. I, yeah. I got a no. cox hat. I, I got I got a buddy that's a, a Gamecock fan and and uh, Spurrier mm-hmm. is. Or a ball coach. Dude, if I had to have a coach besides Mario Cristobal right now, it might be him. Well, he's available. He, I, he's, I, I, yeah. he's the winningest AF coach in league history. By the way, rip to the AF. Fuck the AF. The AF. R.I.P. Lost $70 million in 52 days. Fuck out of here. Garbage. Uh, garbage. <laughs> if you watch that, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. Like I, That has to be said. I'm sorry. So, no, South Carolina. Yeah. SEC program. Not one much hasn't been to a SEC championship game in God knows how long. Yeah. Uh, when they played Auburn was the last time. Yeah. Uh, they we played them in the championship yeah. game. Yeah. 2010. Uh, so not a great winning program, but just always fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Always have electric wide receivers. Mm-hmm. And, you know, funny coach back in the day when they had Spurrier. Yeah. And, you know, who can't root for a team named the Cox? Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, that's why I got it. Yeah, a, a South Carolina hat because it just says Cox in bold letters. I remember walking through my local Walmart when I was wearing it. I was wearing it, and then I was wearing a bright yellow duck shirt with just like the puddles head on it. And I see this guy who's looking at me. He was walking towards me, and I could see him. 
his eye is going from hat to shirt, hat to shirt, and he just had the most confused look on his face. Like, wait, Cox hat? So obviously he was a sports fan, so yeah. he knew South Carolina. And then duck shirt, and I just like kept walking. You know what I would do for is like a party that I'd go to. I'd like tip a big dildo to your Cox hat. There you <laughs> so go. So walk around Classy. like pink tank top. <laughs> just play it up, man. Own it. Yeah, yeah. Might as well. Might as well. Um, You're number two. My number two. Sparty. Ooh, I thought for sure we were going to have the same number one. Sparty. So, if we started this podcast three years ago, uh huh. Sparty's number one. Okay. Sparty's number one. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sparty, Sparty's just, I mean, I've always always liked them. They're, it's another oh. one of those programs where, how, how can you, how, hate how, them? how do you hate Sparty? Um, and then my buddy Devin is a big Sparty fan. Well, the games that we've had with them. Yeah, so, well, even before that. So, uh-huh. you know, usually if if I'm friends with you, for the most part, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to root for your teams. I'm going to like your teams, um, except for, for you with uh, Seattle, the Seahawks. Um, they can go to hell. Um, but for the most part, I mean, like my uncle, Broncos fan, Devin's Broncos fan, I root for the Broncos, you know. I, well, now that I, they have Royce. Well, even before that, like, I, I like I like I like rooting for teams that have former duck players. Like, eh, I don't really give a shit about them if they have former duck players. Um, but what's the record we have? Like Super Bowl wins? Like, is that like eight years? Oh, ago? we have a lot, and it's mostly because Blair uh, Blunt, Chung, and Blunt with the Patriots. I mean, that's probably ninety percent of ducks. Well, no, Super Bowl Blunt, 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 Blunt with the Patriots, yeah, and then the Eagles. Yeah, yep. yeah, but I mean, Chung's won yeah. three with with them. But I'm looking in a row consecutively. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but no, yeah, Sparty's my number one, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I figured Sparty was number one. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's Michigan State, man. They, yeah, <laughs> they're 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 a good program. And, good. And, I like and, D'Antonio too. Yeah, uh, Antoni- yeah D'Antoni. Yeah, D'Antoni. Uh, they have you know basketball and football. I mean, they're always they're always good. Yeah, um, and they have really. I've been to the Michigan State campus into the Michigan State game. Yeah. Uh, when we played them in 2015, and their fans are like Oregon fans, where when the game starts, fuck off. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck you, your rival. Mm-hmm. But before and after the game, yeah. get home safe. Yeah. See you yeah. in the Rose Bowl. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, no. Um, we were at the, I took Devin to that Michigan State game at Watson. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was my first interaction with Sparty fans. And they couldn't have been nicer. Right. I mean, I mean, I, I've had issues with, with Cougars and and uh, Colorado. You know, I, I've, had, I've had issues with their fans before. Um, couldn't have been classier. Uh, Michigan State, and, and and that's what I like. Anybody to see. in a visiting team stadium should be classy as fuck. But when I go to their stadium, I did not expect as warm of a welcome. Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting at the Shy Ducks, the Chicago Ducks uh, alumni tailgate, and people are just coming up, Sparty fans rolling through enemy territory, mm-hmm. and just saying, "Hey, yeah. you know, good game. Hope, hope, you know, hope for a good game. Yeah. Hope to see you in the Rose Bowl." Yeah. I'm like freaking a. Yeah, yeah. Better than what LSU was. <laughs> Throwing breadcrumbs at us and and yes. Yeah, so. Well, and, and Stanford fans and their lack of football knowledge, they're just there to tailgate and yeah. eat their wine and cheese and leave and delicious. And Arizona fans, I mean, I there's always somebody to hate on, yeah, but Sparty gives you no reason to hate on them, none whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we, so we so we know you're number one, yep. Sparty. Uh, I'll give you my last honorable mention, which is Bama. Okay. Uh, my first one. I have three. Uh, Bama. I, I don't hate him. I, do I like seeing him win all the time? No, but haters gonna hate. All he does is win. Yeah. Um, so my my number one. Yeah. The U, Miami, no. and and like I said, um, if we did this podcast three years ago, it would have been Sparty. Um, ever since I've become a uh, loyal listener of the Dan Lebertard show, um, I've become a fan. A, a fan. I'm surprised uh, you're not wearing your shirt. Uh, yeah, I thought, well, I'm wearing a Miami Brewery po- uh, hoodie. Uh, oh, yeah, my shout, God. Shout, <laughs> shout out to Jay Wakefield, the best brewery in, in Miami. Um, <laughs> no, Miami had breweries. Uh, but they just had beaches. No, they got they got some breweries. We went to a few, my wife and I, a few a few months ago. Um, but oh, no, yeah, when you were on your cruise. Yeah. Uh, but no, I actually bought when we were... No, I guess I didn't buy that. I bought a Miami Heat shirt when we were down there. But I, I got a the new their new turno, turnover chain. They got they got a new one. It's not just the it's not just the U logo. It's the it's the the Ibis or whatever they call him. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian. It's their, yeah, Sebastian, it's their uh, 
their bird mascot uh, seagull thing. Uh, it's not a seagull, uh, but uh, yeah, they got their. It looks uh, like a seagull. <laughs> uh, they, it's got their mascot, you know, all, all blinged out. I'm wearing, so it looks like I'm wearing a chain, but it's just a you know a t-shirt. Shirt. It's um, basically the the really trashy version of the pol- of the uh, tuxedo shirt. Yeah, pretty Tux- much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so yeah, no, I like. I like uh, I like the U. Um, yeah, uh, I don't hate the U. I think they're back too. They're back. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're no, back. no. Texas is more back than the U. The U's got some rebuilding to do, and I don't like their hire. I do not like Manny Diaz. I like Manny Diaz. I, I don't think he's the man. The only the only reason I well the only thing I dislike about him is he doesn't speak Spanish. Um, he was on the Dan Lebetard show. Um, when he got hired, mm-hmm. and they had their their character Peepo, Peepo. Uh, who is just a it's their producer yeah. Billy, but he's he's basically making fun of the stereotypical University of Miami fan, mm-hmm. um, and so he had they had him on, and he was you know doing his Peepo shtick, and Manny Diaz just didn't get it. <laughs> well, because Manny Diaz, Manny Diaz is a nerd. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, he worked for ESPN. He was like a, he was like, you know, he was in editing shows. Yeah, he's not a football coach. Well, he is a football coach, but. He's not going to make it. He's not. Uh, we'll um, see. We'll see. See you in three years when they're fired. We'll see. Well, hey, you hope he's good. Because if well, he's yeah. not good. They're going to come after Mario. Exactly. So you better hope, you better hope he's good. Yeah, just, just, just hope he's good. Mario wouldn't leave. I wouldn't put it past him. Eddie would not leave. I wouldn't put it past him. He did they even call him this time? I I forget what happened. I, I don't. I think, I think he called. I, I think, think he called them and said thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, but I think is what happened. But when you're in, what do you expect? Yeah. Like, Ooh, by the way, I, I gave away my second honorable mention, in Texas. I have my last honorable mention. The rest of the ACC, because fuck Willie Taggart one more time. <laughs> uh, I had to throw that in there. Uh, fuck uh, Willie Taggart. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, you, you want Miami to be good. Obviously, well, I think it makes college football better. Well, yeah, it Miami's good. Uh, but yeah, you want you want him good for a while, so so it, it, it's just one less one less temptation. You know, Crystal Ball. I think I think if Crystal Ball is going to leave, it's either going to be for Miami or when Saban finally retires, he would go to he would go to Alabama. Dabo. <sighs> yeah, Dabo. I, Dabo. Yeah, I think Dabo would go to Alabama. They. They'd hire, Dabo. they'd hire Dabo instead, yeah, yeah. or Urban Liar, pull no, him out of retirement. He's going to Notre Dame in a, in, a, in a year. Really? Yeah. Mark my words. Notre Dame. Yeah. Man, that'd make you hate Notre Dame even more. Oh yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I almost, I almost put my number one as Notre Dame and played the fight song. Oh, Just. I would have fucking killed you. I <laughs> know. Make you jump across the table. That would've been uh, fucking hilarious. Yeah. So yeah, we should watch Rudy on a. We did a live stream for for a little while. We know we should do a Rudy live stream. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Is he off sides? Off sides? It doesn't matter. It's a fake story. Get that fucking Hobbit off the fucking football field. <laughs> Sh- Sean Aston or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> fucking. You and Joe Montana hate yeah, him. Fucking Frodo Baggins. I love it. I love getting JC hyped about Rudy because he. Hates Rudy. He cannot stand Rudy. I just hate Notre Dame. Anything related? Why? Because I just do. Because they, they're not, they're not pedophile state, yeah. and they're not, you know, Ohio State. Why? Like, what did it for okay. you? What's wrong with Ohio State besides they beat Oregon? Uh, that that Greg Schiano shit that you didn't like. That uh, they covered up shit. The the urban. Uh, covered up his oh, yeah, wide receiver coach. Yeah, 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 his wife beater. Um, yeah, and and uh, Trussell with the with yeah, the yeah, with the tattoos. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't hate Ohio State. You do. Uh, I don't hate hate Ohio State. I I just, let's strongly dislike them. Okay. Um, but you hate Penn State, pedophile state, as you call them. Oh yeah, well that's that that's just a given. Right. Like if you like, what, ten years ago, Penn State would have been like, maybe not necessarily. Uh, Michigan State were like, how can you hate Penn State? But like, pretty close to that. Yeah. But, but after that, fuck, fuck, fuck yeah, Joe yeah, Paul, no, I know, agree. R- r- rest comfortably in hell. He got everything he deserved. Yeah. Uh, but that's just a that's a completely separate issue with them. Uh, Notre Dame is 
Um, we deserve to be in the playoffs or the BCS National Championship when they, because we're Notre Dame. Like, no, uh, this isn't this isn't you know the 1940s when 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 black players weren't allowed to play back when you were good. Like, I'm sorry, you haven't been relevant in a very long time. And so, and and that's just what I hate. If you were good centuries ago, that doesn't mean you're good now. Yeah. Like, and, and I just I hate that mentality. And that Notre Dame epitomizes that mentality. Is we're Notre Dame. We're the Golden Domers. We we put fucking gold flakes in our helmet. Fuck off. Like fuck off. I had a at my old job. I had a coworker who was a who was a fucking puppy. Uh, and he By was, the way, that's JC's word for husky fans. Yeah, I, I, I refuse to say the H word. They're they're puppies. Um, so and he was like, oh, you know, yeah, you know, Oregon's got Nike money, Phil Knight, but they don't got Notre Dame money because they put gold flakes in their helmet. Are you serious? And I looked at him like, if Phil Knight wanted gold flakes in the fucking wings, dipshit, there'd be gold fucking flakes. They'd be dripping in gold. Like, if that's what he wanted, that's what he'll get. They have that kind of money. Fuck off. Phil Knight has <laughs> fuck you, Notre Dame, my kid. Yeah. So, like, I just, I just, I just, I'm, ugh, I was so mad at that. Like, like you're an idiot. Shut up. Well, did he go to UW? Because that would make it even better. No. No. I don't know a single Husky fan that went to, went to I Washington. I don't think I do either. No. No. And, and they always like to throw that, what do, uh, what do uh, Oregon State fans and Oregon fans have in common? They both didn't go to Oregon. They love to say that. They Even love. though they don't go to UW. Yeah, nine times out of ten. I would have gone to U of O, but just didn't happen that way. I can be a fan and not go to that school. It's just like we talked about the very first podcast. I could just as easily be a Weaver fan. Thank you, God, I picked the green and yellow. Thank yeah. you, God. Yeah. No, um, I mean... I just I, I don't get that that type of thing. How bad are we beating them this year, by the way, in Seattle? How bad are we beating them? Uh, How bad? Uh, I mean, we won last year. We're winning this year. Three to seven points. I'll go. I'll go fourteen. I say we win by two touchdowns. You want to double our ten beer bet on that? <laughs> Let's see how the season goes first before we talk bets. Well, 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 Let's do it before the season starts. Like you, I'll give you that I want to see Friday. It. No, that Friday before the Auburn game. No, because then injuries can happen. We do it the week before. No. Well, then I'm. Not, I'll no. give you. I'll give you a, a, an out. If if Herbert doesn't play, bets null and void. I'll give you that. No, because then everybody else on the team, our <laughs> offensive line, our running backs, our wide receivers, <laughs> fuck off with that. I'm like, wait, wait, that's pretty good. No, then like literally the entire starting lineup can be gone. I still have to do you ten beers. <laughs> fuck right off. Twenty beers, it would be. It would be twenty beers. Yeah. <laughs> well, when <laughs> let's not get into when, that. I, when I win my fir- when I win the first bet, we'll be tied and we'll just break even. Okay, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, so that's... Oh, that's uh, uh, you want to finish up your honorable mentions, and then we can get to your uh, Walking Dead season finale? Yeah, well... We'll do an OT. Yeah, you wanted to do an OT. Um, so, I got South Carolina. Okay. Um, you know, it's the fucking Cox, bro. Fucking Cox. Um, Oklahoma. Man, I almost put them. Yeah, I, 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 I don't mind... I couldn't have Texas and Oklahoma, though. I was yeah. like, I had to pick one. Well, I do, and Texas, just because I don't really care (laughs) so um so yeah i'll root for i'll root for those teams um i like oklahoma i know oklahoma youtuber he's pretty good yeah um and i like uh onikunu uh, shout out to onikuno is his youtube name okay um i like their new their new head coach lincoln riley man yeah they got so lucky with him he's a good coach he's a good coach i like their new have you seen their lay the wood uniforms Uh -uh. oh man they came out a couple years ago they're really nice Hmm. They're, they're just alternates. They yeah. just they don't wear them all the time. Hmm. Nice, but no, I was a, that was a that was a good top five. I like yeah. that top five a lot. Yeah, not bad.